Hey, today we're going to talk about computer coding. Computer codes are written to make games and computer software work. So this year we've already used some apps like Notability, Doodle Buddy, um, Pic Collage to communicate a message. Those all run on computer code and we're going to use this game today called Codable to help us begin on writing computer code. And the same kind of game that we're about to play will be used to help us um, when we want to program our Legos. So let's take a look at what you can do with Codable, this really cool, fun coding game. So when I get into Codable, it's going to play a video to kind of set up the game. I'm going to just tap and skip that. You may watch the whole video. But then when I get into it, it's going to ask me if I would like to start. I'll press the start button. And then it's going to ask me if I am a boy or a girl. Like I'm about to, or for my name first, sorry. I'll put my name in here. And then it will ask me whether I'm a boy or a girl. And then once I've answered that question, I can go ahead and click the play button here to start on the very first level. So what I need to do is get this little furry guy to all of these coins. So I just drag these arrows over to the boxes to move that guy the correct way. And you can see the hand is trying to show me what to do. And then once I'm ready to have him start moving towards these coins, I just press the play button here like this. And if I did it correct, this little guy will roll and pick up all those coins and your objective is to try to get as many of the coins possible you can see I got three stars so I did a really good job so now I'm going to go to the next level level two and I'm going to try to get all of these coins so the levels get a little bit harder as you go you can see that I need to go this way then up then to the right then up again, and then right again. And then I'll press the play button. And when I do that, the guy rolls, and I get my coins, and I also got, yes, three stars, awesome. If I got two stars, let's say, I can go ahead and press the pause button, then press this button here, and that will take me back so I can see um, the levels here that I've already completed. And I could go back and say do level 2 again if I got 2 stars there. I did really well in that so I'll go to level 3 and just keep going. I just want to show you what will happen if you do something incorrectly on Codable. Let's just say I put the right arrow in there and then I press the play button and that's not the right thing to do. You see, oop. Uh-oh, I forgot to tell my guy to turn the correct way. He got a bruise from running into the wall. So now I'm going to have to go back and try again and solve that puzzle. So what I'm doing here by moving this little guy is writing the code that tells him what to do. So that's how I'm communicating my message to my iPad and this character today, by writing the code that tells the game how to run. Okay, so today I want you to work on Codable and try to get as far through these puzzles as you possibly can. Uh, there are about 20 levels, I believe, I've gotten up to. So you have plenty of levels to get through today and a lot of fun to have while learning how to code and communicating your message through code. I hope that you have fun learning how to code.